Mecha Godzilla. Mecha Godzilla. Mecha Godzilla. Context. I have three Mecha Godzillas. But Benix, why do you have three Mecha Godzillas? Well, let me tell you. So this guy right here, this is the first Mecha Godzilla that I got, and I got scammed on him. So like, basically what happened was, is uh, I got scammed by uh, you know this your reseller on Amazon who sold him for fifty dollars. So yeah, that's why I have this Mecha Godzilla. What? I found this guy at a Walmart one day for ten dollars. Then like the other day, I was with me dad and uh, I found this guy for like ten bucks as well. And uh, yeah, that's what this video is about. I'm gonna be um, I'm gonna be unboxing this one yeah. Oh yeah, mate! Look, we got the new Mecha Godzilla. We got Battle Mecha Godzilla with Battle Damage Reveal. We got we got uh, the same thing on the front of the box here. Yeah. Oh, here we got we got things. Yeah, mate, it's this stuff. On this side we got we got we got that. Oh, but we have but but. All right, let's crack into this thing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Let's crack into it. Just devalue the heck out of this thing, yeah. Yeah, mate, yeah. Yeah, look at that. Tail. Oh, yeah. Just, just devalue it. Oh. Cut this. No, sorry, cut. Oh, no, it's not. Yeah. Yeah, Freedom! There's one there, too. Freedom! Free. Mecha. Godzilla. Uh. Oh my god. What is he in? My god, they really did not want you getting out. Jesus. I have to like open the whole box. Oh my god. They really did not want you getting out. There we go. There he is. Cool. Let's grab the other stuff. Oh, be careful with scissors. There we go. And now, freedom. Ugh. I tell you. Right, so here he is. He's he's a gunmetal one. This is the gunmetal gray one. Oh no, he's got some bent toes. Oh no, I don't know if you can see that. He's got some bent toes. I don't know how I feel about that. I mean, I'm pretty sure that's how he just was in the box. Uh, overall feel, he literally feels the exact same. <laughs> uh, as the other one. Yeah. No, he feels the exact same. There's like no differences here. Well, <laughs> there's no difference with this one. Still looks like a prairie dog. <laughs> Alright, and then fit the piece here. I can't. Oh my god, what? It's actually, no, it's not. Okay, that was easier than the other one. I remember the other one being a pain. Um, uh, that's annoying. <laughs> Mine has a bit of problems right out of the gate. Bent toes sucks. Yeah, those are some bent toes. Not gonna lie. I like the dark colors on them. I think they look really nice and classy. I think the dark colors look really good. Um, really big fan of these dorsal spines and how they go all the way down as translucent pieces. I really like that. Um, is that popped? I think it is, yeah. Huh. Hold on, look at this. Huh. What? Oh, no. Was it not glued down properly in the factory? I don't think it was. Hold on. Does that happen with the other one? I'm here with the other Mechagodzilla. That is not happening here but there's a little bump i don't know if you can see there's this bump and you could literally pull it out oh my god i don't i don't like that <laughs> um i'm kind of glad i opened this now because this isn't very good <laughs> um okay so nobody came here for the, the freaking mecha gods let's get real nobody nobody came here for the the, the darker one. I actually like the dark cuts. I think it looks really good. We all came here for this red ball of spit. Is it look good? Let's find out. Shoved it right in his mouth. 
that looked pretty good. <laughs> that actually looks really good. I'm gonna have a lot of fun taking some pictures with this guy, yeah? Alright, now let's also see how he stacked up with the other Mecha Godzilla. Here he is. The two prairie dogs. This is how they look together. I personally really like how they both look. I feel like the lighter gray makes the, the, the details pop a little more. I don't know if that's just me. The darker colors here kind of mute it a little bit. Uh, it makes it look not as, you know. This one definitely looks way more aggressive, though, I will say. This one looks more tame. I really like... I just, I don't know. He looks fine, honestly. <laughs> Genuinely, just look... Honestly, just both of them. Look, they just look fine. There's nothing really to say. I mean, they're basically the same thing. Articulation for if you haven't seen it. You got rotation here in the arm. Yeah. You got a hinge here at the mouth. Like that. You got a hinge here at the mouth. You got a split here at the leg. You got a rotation there at the leg. A bend at the knee. Swivel at the foot. Ball joint here at the tail. Which, I really don't trust the ball joint at the tail. But, there you go. You got a ball joint at the tail. And some bent toes. Wow, that's so cool. Way to go, playmates. Alrighty, mate. Let's bust out some of those comparisons. Yeah, here we go. Monkey, we have the monkey here, and look as you can see, monkey is purple and blue, and honestly they look pretty good together, not gonna lie. The monkey here looks pretty good next to Mechagodzilla, I feel like maybe Mechagodzilla should be a little taller, but you know, it's not too bad, and you know what, here's a Godzilla, yeah, look at that, they all look pretty good together, I like it, I like it. Um, Mechagodzilla is probably the biggest, uh, as you can see, I like these three. They look pretty good together. Here's Mecha Godzilla next to the dead skull crawler. Rest in pieces, our boy, the skull crawler. Oh, rest in pieces, our boy, the skull crawler. Now, there's a few things I'm gonna do. Can you blow his head off? We'll find out, man. Will we? We will find out. So, overall thoughts on this Mecha Godzilla? I think he's pretty good, as you can see by these pictures I've taken. Yeah, he got some pretty good dynamic poses. Uh, you know, he's a little bit of editing here and there, but I think overall, this is a pretty good figure. And if you see him, you should pick him up, especially for the red bait. Like and subscribe, my golden friend, he touches your feet!